Yo guys, it's Lyra. You already know that today I'm bringing you guys my battle for week 10 of the Pokemon Premier League. Today we are taking on Jack, aka V, Don Fanatic, and the Norwich Skitty. And uh, yeah, so today we have a battle. Um, this is uh, going up a couple days late uh, for the Pokemon Premier League. Um, Jack's been a busy man this weekend, uh, but we're finally getting our battle done, so apologies for the late upload. Um, but yeah. We are doing a live com today, which I have not done since last season, unless you count the live com thing that I did against Frank that was Showdown. This is the first Wi-Fi live com that I'm doing uh, since last season. And I'm doing that just because it's uh, easier to just live record, edit that video, and then, you know, render it into a final video rather than, um, you know, do the thing where I uh, do a post com because that requires like three video recordings overall so this is quicker and I want to get this battle up so yeah um, today we're taking on Jack which is um, always crazy game season one we took him on and he beat us very closely last season we beat him by living on like 6 HP and beating him so our games are always close um, we have also made remarkably similar progress in, in terms of league format and our ability to battle um, a lot of times when people talk about, you know, who's improved the most in the PPL, a lot, um, like, our two names get mentioned in the same breath. Um, so, I kind of consider Jack a bit of a rival in that sense. Um, so, we need to get the advantage, we need to, uh, take down our rival and, uh, yeah, <laughs> do what we can. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start the battle, so good luck, have fun, Jack. Uh, there will be no face cam because I just don't have enough USB ports and stuff because uh, I still have not done that. So, sorry, no face cam. Um, I might put the bottom screen on there. Yeah, I'll probably just put the bottom screen because it's super easier to do it that way. Mm, sorry if I start yawning and stuff like that. I woke up like 10 minutes ago. Um, so, my bad. <laughs> but, alright. Let's go ahead and do our Pokemon. Um, real quick, what we are bringing is we have a... Um, that Mega Alteria is a defensive Dragon Dance, um, mostly defensive uh, Dragon Dance. I had to change the speed EVs um, on Mega Alteria to make sure that I outsped everything. I didn't have the speed EVs right in the team builder. Um, I have special defensive Roserade, Choice Bandit, uh, Jolly Arcanine, uh, Ditto, that's pretty standard. Um, I really wanted to uh, have HP Grass IVs on Ditto, but I kind of forgot to do that. Um, in case Heliolus casts it, but hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me because I didn't do that. Um, we have Focus Sash, um, Hydreigon with like max attack to come into play, and a specially defensive Assault Vest Tornadus T. Let's see what, let's run down the list, see what Jack brought. He did bring the Mega Latios, he brought the Skarmory, he brought the Floridus, he brought the Nidal King. Did not bring the Zoroark, that is cool, I don't need to worry about those kind of mind games. Did bring the Heliolisk. And did bring the Gastrodon, so no Domantan and no Kangaskhan, so that's actually really, really nice. Um, those are basically all special attackers outside of possibly a physical Needle King, which I actually don't know what I will do with, and a uh, Dragon Dance like Mega Adios. Um, so, there's my stylus. Um, Tornadus T is a pretty safe lead, unless I go Hydreigon. Because I'm kind of expecting Skarmory. Um, I'm just going to lead Tornadus T because I kind of am running out of time and I can U-turn out, break the Sturdy, go into like Arcanine and Flare Bits or something like that. Or I could just go for a Heat Wave. Um, so many different things I could possibly do. But yeah, let me know how you uh, enjoy this live comp compared to uh, all the post comps that I've been doing this season. So, um, this will probably be the only live comp. There's only one more battle uh, of the season. And, uh, yeah. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Um, we can take one Heliolus. Actually, I actually wanted, like, I said I was going to, like, double check this, uh, this calc with, like, a life orb, like, Heliolus. And, uh, oh, it's so beautiful. Thunderbolt is 50.8 to 60.5%. That's timid life orb. Alright. Um, so if he's like modest life orb, I mean he still does a little bit over half with Thunderbolt, which I mean I just regenerate her back up. Uh, so I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm actually going to go for a U-turn, because I feel like he's going to Volt Switch. There it is. 
Uh, he's gonna see that this does not much. Okay. So that could be scarfed. Could very well be scarfed to try and outspeed this, but uh, fun fact, this is defensive, so you would outspeed it with very little speed investment anyway. Um, because he did not take any sort of life orb recoil, and he did do less than half. So that makes me think that he could be scarfed or expert belt to bluff the scarf. Um, he probably was expecting me to switch out, but not this time. Um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But, either way. Mmm. Is that Rocky Helmet? Ooh. I really need to look this up right now. Sorry. Um. Because if Arcanine can just straight up do damage right now. 90.6 to 108.1%. Or 108.1%. That's so close so close I really want to because I want to limit the amount of hazard stacking he can do yeah I need to limit the amount of hazard stacking he can do I'm gonna take so much recoil from Rocky Helmet plus Flare Blitz right now um if he even stays in because he doesn't have an Aqua Berry and if he's not completely physically defensive, this is guaranteed Oko, and if he is physically defensive, this is still a roll in my favor. So, Trace Bandit Flare Blitz, here we go. This is going to put so much pressure on him. His only switch in is Gastrodon, um, to which I can just switch into Rose Raid, and it's super easy. Um, I guess he could take one with Mega Latios, but then, does he want to take two? I don't know, let's 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 wait and see what he does. I feel like either Megalodios or Gastrodon have to switch in. Gastrodon makes it very easy for me to switch in the Rose Raid. Yep, okay. Alright, so next time that we get in Arcanine, maybe we could go for the close combat. Um Oh snap. That wasn't a crit, was it? That's not a crit. That's not a crit. We take this thing out with another Flare Blitz. There's no reason to go for anything else. There's no reason to go for anything else. <laughs> He's got to know this is Bandit now. Um, this is probably especially defensive. Um, maybe with the Rainbow Berry Mirror Coat for Rose Raid. But um, who needs Rose Raid when you have Arcanine? <laughs> oh, it's too easy. Does he want to sack this off or does he want to um, try and switch into something else? Alright, he is going to sack this off. Arcanine is going to get a kill, which is going to be great in terms of the Golden Pokeball Award. I really need Arcanine to get some kills. Alright, so that's awesome. Arcanine, I think he's gotten a kill every single time it showed up, except for maybe once. Um, I don't even know. Alright, so we are up one on, like, turn three. And now he has a pretty safe switch into Mega Latios, I believe, because I cannot um, take him out. Also, for those of you guys who did not watch my battles last season, I do calc a lot during the battles, so you're going to hear a lot of typing. Um, apologies, that's just how it is. Yeah, he has a safe switch into Mega Latios. That's literally the only thing he can switch in right now. Alright, um... Part of me, it sounds kind of stupid, but a part of me wants to just go into Ditto to try and scout his set to try and figure out what this thing is. Um, because Ditto is actually, it's actually not that helpful this game. Um, it's good for scouting sets, which I would use for Mega Latios. Um, and it would be good to take the Ditto King, but that's about it. I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm going to go into Ditto because I want to see what kind of Mega Latios this is. That because uh, I need to know. I need to know if he's going to try and set up Calm Minds, if he's going to try and set up Dragon Dances, if he's some sort of defensive set. <sighs> you know, we might know just by this. If he goes for Draco and takes me out before I get to see the set, that would be really not cool. 
like really really not cool was for psychic okay so we already know that he has psychic uh, let me write down Skarmory's rocky helmet uh, because I have not been writing down notes yet so that is psychic um call mind ice beam shadow bomb all right so it is a call mining set and ice beam shadow ball okay so now that I know that he is a calm mind set um that is very very scary let's see how much does ice beam do to Megalotaria it does a lot if he gets to plus one he can take out Megalotaria just straight up um, so I don't have much for this, so I'm going to, I'm probably just going to have to go for an attack right now, because he doesn't have recovery. That is a good, that is an important thing to note. He does not have recovery. So I'm going to go for the Ice Beam right now. Okay, I was going to say, because this Ditto is sackable if it needs to be, if it needs, yeah, if it needs to be. Um, that's fine. Um, I could also go into Tornadus T next time. Alright, he is going to probably go for rocks. Um, if he's some sort of physically defensive. If he is some sort of physically defensive Skarmory. Alright, I need to look up something. Skarmory. I'm probably getting way too ahead of myself. Um... Because if he is defensive, he's not quite at the range where Mega Altaria can set up. Mm, I can't even take up take out four just at plus one, can I? I need to try and look at well, like what things need to be at for me to sleep with Mega Altaria. So I definitely need some chip damage on the Florges. However, if it's defensive, it won't take out a full health Megalitaria. Um, I could go into either... I kind of want to go in Hydreigon. That will force in the Florges and get chip damage on it. So I'm going to switch into Hydreigon. Especially if he expects the Arcanine to come in. I don't know it, like, if he would double switch into... Megalodios, that's the only thing you could double switch into. Okay, there's Stealth Rocks. I do not have hazard removal, which means I have to be very careful with how many times I send in Arcanine. Also, Megalotaria is going to take a good chunk from the first time it comes in. Alright, so, now that I have uh, Florges right here. Um, if he's defensive, I think I have to go for Iron Tail right now. Floor just has to be a switch in, right? If he switches into anything else, I have a switch into that. So I'm gonna go for the Iron Tail. Oh, and he stayed in. And he stayed in. So now he knows I have it, so he's not gonna want to switch in for just. So I'm just gonna go for the Flamethrower right now and see what he wants to do. He has sturdy, so we can. He whoa, that is not a two eco, two hit KO. Where would me and Narcanine? Okay, that's Mega Altaria. Um. Well, now is as good a time to any, a good of a good of time as any, to Mega up and go for a Fire Blast. If he has a steel move, he'll go for it, which still should not take me out. Um, and this won't kill him, because it looks like he's some sort of specially defensive Rocky Helmet, or maybe just the zero special attack. I've used oh, that's so close. That is so close. Alright, um... <laughs> Can I afford to go for return here? because uh, I don't really want to risk going for another Fire Blast. 
Um, let me let me check. Uh, wow. Oh wait, oh, fifty. And if he's physically defensive, ooh. I feel I feel like return should still kill. I feel like return should still kill. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take Rocky home at damage, I know, but you know, whatever. Mega Altaria kills Skarmory. I don't even know what I can set up on actually. I don't think I can afford to try and set up I need to basically let him take me out here. Cause if I switches if I yeah, if I switches out. If I switch out and he goes um and he goes for Calm Mind, I don't know how to beat that. So um I can go for a return right now. Or I could go for a dragon dance. That way if he goes for a calm mind, I could do a big chunk to his team. So I'm gonna go for a dragon dance just in case he goes for a calm mind. Okay. He's just going to go for the kill, that's perfectly fine, and Mega Altaria is going to go down, um, which is fine. I don't sweep with, it, sweep with it, but there weren't a lot of chances for me to set up a Dragon Dance, especially at the health I was at. Um, so it's not the worst loss. Mm, if he's Calm Mind, I wonder if he has enough speed to outspeed like a Jolly Arcanine. That might be something that we'll have to try uh, later on. But I'm going to go into Tornadus T, um, so we do know this is... Oops. I need to know how much this ice beam is going to do. It shouldn't it shouldn't kill me, right? Uh, it might kill me. I hope I'm not just overestimating um, the bulk that is Tornadus T. I don't think I am. Yeah, no. I can easily, easily, easily live one. Um, but do I want to just U-turn? What if I outspeed? He's bulky. I'm gonna go for a Dark Pulse first. Yeah, I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse first, see what he wants to do. And then I'll U-turn. Or we'll see. If he outspeeds me and he's going to take me out with another one, then I'm going to have to just straight switch out. Um, but if I can U-turn, then I'll U-turn. Because he could be like some sort of very bulky Calm Mind, like physically defensive Calm Mind, um, in which he wouldn't have speed investment, which means I could outspeed. Anything he switches out into is perfectly fine. Yep. Lashana. Alright, that is this thing. All right, so that is leftovers. That isn't enough damage to tell what exactly this is. Hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Because a part of me really wants to just go right into Arcanine. I won't be able to take him out. Um, I think if it's not a guaranteed kill, I shouldn't really go out into it. Um, <sighs> I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go into Rose Raid right now. I should've U-turned. Why didn't I U-turn? That was stupid. I know it wouldn't have done much, but still, something's better than nothing. And if he's defensive, like the leftovers imply that he is, um, Psychic won't even do that much. So this is specially defensive Rose Raid. So I'm just gonna go for the Sludge Bomb, no reason to go for anything else. Probably scouting for any sort of weird moves like Sleep Powder or anything like that, um, which unfortunately I do not have this week. 
is just Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and Hidden Power Fire. Um, with Aromatherapy, which I don't really need right now. Because he hasn't statused any of my mons. Alright, so we're going to see what his switch into this is. It's the Mega Latios. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, that's actually not bad. Alright, let's see. This thing revealed Psychic earlier. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to go back into Tornado ST. And we'll see what we do from here. There's the Ice Beam. 119. Ah. Ah, dang it. <laughs> the rest of my team does not appreciate Ice Beam, actually. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I kind of need... Do I need this? I would get so much more switch initiative by just letting this thing go down. Today's T isn't going to take out anything that's left. It's just not. It's straight up not going to. Um, I can just get a clean switch into Ditto. Or Hydreigon. Or this is another time where I just need to scout. I need to scout whether I can outspeed or not. I think he's going to outspeed. He should have. Not necessarily. Yeah, I don't know. That was gross. Um. Okay, so he's just going to withdraw a second for the U-turn. So I get switch initiative regardless. Regardless, um, I think this means I have to go into Arcanine though. I have nothing else that can do damage. Like, absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, because I mean, I could go into Rosary, but then I feel like the same thing just happens. Is that the worst thing though? Really the worst thing if I go into Rose Raid right now. I'm going into Arcanine. Because at this point, the only thing I know the Arcanine outspeeds is this. So this is the best chance for me to just get off a huge hit. Um, because a Mega Latios with no recovery still doesn't want to take a Flare Blitz. It can take one. Um, this can take one too if it's physically defensive. Um, I'm actually very curious. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out. I was gonna calc if it's specially defensive if it could live. But, um... Okay, so it's... I think it's physically defensive. Ooh! Alright. Wow. I don't think... Would one turn of tox... Oh, he could have toxic and then protect, and he wouldn't have to try and take another fellow woods. That is... Huge. That is actually really, really big. And, um, yeah. There's no reason for me to do anything else. Ark and I just go till it dies. Um, man, that that really, really sucks for Jack. That Toxic, he would have been able to talk to my Ark and take it out, and this thing would still be alive. Um, and he could still switch around and still kind of use it uh, against my team. I don't know if he's going to preserve this and switch into something else or not. Um, but we are about to find out. Uh, Mega Latios, I think, could still take one. Nitto King might be able to take one from full. I think it can, actually. Um, even if it's offensive. Uh, yeah. No, it can't. If it's offensive, it can't. Yeah, this thing's dead. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I hate dealing with Nidoking, King. That is amazing. Arcanine kills Nido King. Oh, that's great. And then dies to recoil. All right. So now I kind of want to go into. Ah, no, I can't go into Ditto. I don't think. 
Hold on, let me cross out the Nidoking. King. No, I... Wait, I can't go into Ditto if there's nothing on the other side of the field, right? I'm actually not sure how that works, so I'm just gonna go into Tornado T. Because I can just U-turn on anything that comes in. That is... That's annoying, but I am going to U-turn. And... He hasn't gone for, like, Wish... Wait, he has Protect. He has Toxic. He could just have Wish and Moonblast. Honestly. But, I'm going to U-turn. And then I'm just going to have to go into Rose Raid. That should mean that he that he's not a Calm Mind set or anything like that. He is also Calm Mind Mega Latios, so... <sighs> we should... should be okay. Let's see, what is he going for? There's the Wish. Um... I have to just go for Sludge Bombs. He's gonna protect here. I wish I had any sort of setup move, that would be great, I could take advantage of that, but unfortunately, um, I kind of have to let him do whatever. He either protects with this and gets health on this, um, or he wishes back into his Megalodios. Um, man, either way it kind of sucks. Definitely, definitely kind of sucks. But I think he's going to, oh, okay, he's going to switch out. I thought he was going to stay in and get health on that, but he is actually going to go into the Megalodios. If I can get a Toxic, that would be fantastic. Or not a Toxic, just a Poison. There we go. That is, that is nice. That is nice. All right, um, let's see. Mega Megalodios. Um, and... Rose Raid. Um, let's see, he has Psychic and Ice Beam. So it's like, I could definitely live one. Oh wait, if he's... Yeah, I could definitely live one, though I don't really want to. And he can kind of just call mind on me here. So... I'm gonna have to do what I've been doing and just go into Tornado's T. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do. So he could call mind up on this Rose Raid. Um, or a Psychic actually comes really close to taking out Rose Raid. There's the call mind. I think. I don't really wanna switch out on this thing. This thing has no recovery, so I'm just gonna go for a Dark Pulse this time, I think. He's going to get off like one attack and then I go into Ditto and then I should be able to take it out. Alright, so this thing's down. Okay. So if we are putting in another... Adios. Should do... Will it do enough? Yeah, that's... What it looks like, this should do enough to take him out. And if this doesn't take him out, I lose the game. So, it's actually that simple. It is actually that simple. Um, so, let's go for the Ice Beam. I think his best bet here is to switch into Forges, um, uh, which he can probably take to. Shoot, yeah, he can just switch around, what do I even do? Should have maybe predicted and double switched? I don't, I don't know how well it would have worked out for me though. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, he stays in. I ice beam. And he's dead. Okay, this is nice. Ditto. Kills. Mega. Latios. Um, now, this is a ditto that is essentially plus one because of the Calm Mind. So... Level 50. Ice Beam does not quite take him out of fees. Defenses. But I kind of want to go for it anyway. I kind of want to just go for another ice cream anyway. Because I don't think Ditto's doing that much more. I'm gonna go for the ice beam. This should do a lot. Not quite. So he has to protect right here. He absolutely has to protect right here. So, on this turn, um, I'm going to go into Roserade. And even if he switches into Heliolisk, Roserade can take that on too. So, honestly, Roserade can just stay in and win me the game unless he pulls something crazy. Um, as far as I can tell. And, yep, there's the Protect. Because eventually I'm going to get a Poison. Um, and if he just says Witch Protect Toxic Heal Bell, then he can't attack anyway, and then it just comes to a PP stall or timer stall. Um, which, either way, like, regardless of anything, I win that. So, like, you know, eventually I'm gonna get a poison or a crit or something. Um, I mean, he can just do this all he wants, I guess, but... <laughs> Alright. So, since I feel like he's going to go for a protect, I kind of want to just waste uh, waste PP of another move. I don't want to waste all my Sludge Bombs. So, I'm going to go for Hidden Power Fire, because that would hit a Dry Skin and Heliolisk for lots of damage. Yeah, like I know he's getting back more health than, than what I'm inflicting. But if like I get a poison or a crit, then all of this, all of this like stalling that he's doing is going to be basically for nothing. And dang it, where is my poison? All right, I'm just going to I'm going to have to keep alternating between uh between this, because regardless, he's not inflicting damage on me like at all. So I'm just going to keep waiting until I get a, definitely a poison, definitely a poison will help. Um, that's the biggest thing. Mm. So let's go ahead for another sludge bomb. And I mean, I, like, I need to get a poison one of these times. It does so close to half. Alright, there's Moonblast. So if I get a poison... Like, he's, he's got nothing. Look at that, 27 damage. Special attack drop. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? You know what? Bum bum. Revelation. He doesn't have heal bell. Why don't I just toxic him? Silly me. Silly, silly me. Alright, I like I feel like he's probably just gonna protect here. But that's fine. He can he can see what I'm gonna do. The only thing he can do about it is switch into Heliolisk, let that get toxic, and then I just switch back into Rosaried. Um, which is a super safe switch. Um Yeah. Do something to stop this. Also if I can get toxic damage against this thing instead of just sludge bomb poison. That would be even better. Even, even better. So. Yeah. He's going to withdraw. He's going to go into Heliolisk. That's perfectly fine. 
because then I just go right into Roserade. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to try it one more time. All right, let's go into Roserade. That's stupid. Well, I guess now that I have my special attack back, um, we're just gonna have our little 1v1 again, because I think he's just gonna Volt Switch back into it. That's my assumption. Yeah, oh, he's gonna Hyper Voice. Whoa. Cool, cool. Um, I'm gonna Giga Drain. Yeah, let me, let me, let's Giga Drain. Let's see, 92. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, it was a crit. Alright, that works. So now I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb. I think Sludge Bomb does a little bit more. And uh, I don't think he can take me out. Okay, Rosary kills Helios. And now it's just this 1v1. Helios. Like, we win the game. He can stall out for all eternity, but he loses regardless. Like, like there's they, there's no way. He would have to get like a super crit moon blast here or something. So I think now, I think now should probably be the time that he just kind of lets me win if he's going to be nice. Yeah. Alright, so 51. That does 21 damage. Get the special attack drop again. Are you kidding me? I can't risk a crit actually. Or can I? I'm gonna go for a Giga Drain. Yeah, so I can get health back that way. I get another crit! Oh my gosh! I should just be going for Giga Drain every Giga Drain every single time. Because I guess that's just automatic crit. Alright, he has nothing else to switch out into. So if he's going to protect right now, then I'm switching back into Ditto and he is getting toxic. Like, whether he likes it or not. Whether he likes it or not, he is getting toxic. I didn't think he was going to do this, but uh, I guess he is. We are going to have to punish him for that. <laughs> Oh snap, look at the predictions. Oh, two. Alright. We better not miss no stinking toxic. We better not miss this freaking toxic. If we miss another one, I'm gonna be really upset. Because then he can basically 1v1 the Roserade if he really wants to. Kind of. Kind of. Thank you. Thank you. So now it's just about whether this Floridus dies to Toxic Poison or whether Roserade gets the kill with Sludge Bomb. Oh man. Alright, so this should be a 2-0 victory with Hydreigon never even hitting the field. Which I feel like happens entirely too often. Um, where I bring Hydreigon and then it just doesn't even need to show up. Uh, which is pretty funny. But, whatever. Or, well, I guess Hydreigon did hit the field once. My bad. It did hit the field once. Um, and then went out and just never showed his face again. So, Sludge Bomb plus Toxic Damage definitely is a 2 KO. Um, I have like 8 Sludge Bombs left, so he cannot just protect stall me out of these. Um... He knows his game. He has to. And he's gonna go for Moonblast. That essentially tells me that he knows his game. Um, you know, there is no way around that. Uh, I guess if he got a bunch of special attack drops and I wasn't able to get that Toxic off, uh, maybe he could have actually stalled out um, my team because the Rose Radio is getting kind of low in health. Um, but at this point, there is nothing he can do to keep himself uh, from losing this game. So. We are going to end it off. Uh, Roserade getting its second kill. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Arcanine got two kills. That is also very nice. 
and that is going to be the 2-0 victory in our favor. Um, so that gives us what does that put us at six and four. So if we um, if we win our last game, uh, we will finish with the exact same record that we had last season. Uh, with a 2-0 victory, I do believe that keeps Jack above us by one differential point. Um, so we should still be in fifth place. Um, but we still have a chance at getting back to uh, fourth. Um, but, you know, fifth place is kind of where we've been residing for half the season. So, it's, you know, it's where I'm comfortable at. And, uh, yeah, so that was a really good game, Jack. Um, uh, that, yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of unfortunate uh, for you because Noodle King would have still been alive had uh, Floor just hit its... Uh, toxic on the Arcanine um, so there are some unfortunate hacks that could have affected the outcome of this battle but um, battle ended how it ended so um, good game and we will definitely play each other again next season um, right now I got the upper hand I've beaten Jack two seasons in a row um, definitely won't let him forget that and uh, you guys should not let him forget that either so make sure you go over to his channel um, and you know watch his videos and let him know how much better I am than him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but that's going to wrap up this video. So thanks for watching and until the next time guys, stay sly.